Hello, I'm Steve Wood from Pizza Plus Food Service and today I'm going to show you how to make a calzone food to go pizza using our Pizza Plus Food Service 7 inch calzone pizza crust. As you can see, specially designed with a little hinge here uh, to stop it breaking once you're filling and folding. So it's very important that I tell you at this stage that all our pizza crusts are part baked. So all you're going to do is finish the cooking process off. That's all you're going to do. It's also very important that everything that you use from Pizza Plus Food Service is defrosted in a fridge, preferably overnight, airtight, and the crusts keep for around about 10 days uh, if they're wrapped airtight in the bag that we give you in the box or in a sealed container for toppings, sauce, cheese, etc. And those items will last the usual three to four days. So basically what we are going to do is just have a look first of all at a margarita version. Very, very quick and easy to do. Um, then we're going to complete a margarita we started exactly the same way and then add some pepperoni to it. There's a couple of ways of doing that. And we're also going to make a Mediterranean uh, calzone. Beautifully tasting product. Quite a nice mix of ingredients and flavours and colours and very, very easy to do. In fact, it's very important to also tell you that with regards to all our Pizza Plus food service products right through the range making any pizza you can possibly think of is so very very simple it's like making a sandwich it's quick it's easy your recipe ideas are as broad as your imagination you can let it run wild let the kids try all sorts of different flavors and textures and more important than all that is you can make a lot of profit from these products also. So, first of all, let's get on and make the margarita. So you basically take your pizza crust, hold it out a little bit, but not forcing it too much. And all we're using, using pizza ladles that are available to buy from ourselves, um, we want about half an ounce in this that's all about half an ounce so we're going to take a quarter of this two ounce ladle and just drop it in for the moment and it gets a little bit difficult trying to squeeze a ladle in so we just get a spoon and just spread it out now you'll be doing these for break time and you'll be making these like a great production line these, once you've got the margarita pizza, pizza calzone done, just with sauce and cheese as I'm gonna do now, if you get a BS tin and stack them up stood upright, you'll fit 12 in there. So big production line going, somebody put in sauce in, cheese, all on the BS, all in the BS tin, stack the BS tins up, take them to your fan assisted oven and they'll take no more than 10 minutes at 180 degrees. Now a little bit different cooking them for today's demonstration, uh, but basically very, very simple to do. They come up lovely and golden brown on the top if you do it that way, but the crust on the side stays really soft and moist and it's wonderful comfort food, especially for break time. Goes down a treat. Um, what will happen with ours is, in the conventional stone floor pizza oven that I've got beside me here, is you will see a more crispier end result. And I'll cut them into two and three and you can feel and see the textures and hear, hear the cutting through. It's a lovely product this, a lovely product. So we need about an ounce of cheese. So taking a two ounce laid on, I'm going to get roughly half of it and I'm just going to put it there for the moment see that and then just spread it round now what you can also do I'm not going to do for this one is you can get a little bit of a diced tomato 
and you could mix that with the mozzarella if you so wished. But I know what break time's like, it's extremely intense. So this makes just as wonderful a product. Little bit of Italian mixed pizza seasoning. Please don't just use oregano, this is marvelously spiced. Um, you can get it from Tesco for 70 odd P, um, or you can buy it from ourselves as well as mixed pizza seasoning through certain distributors. So that would now go in a BS tin with another 11 or 12 of them all stacked up side by side. Um, but we shall just put this on this pizza pan and we'll come back to it in a second. I'm going to show you another vegetarian pizza before uh, we start cooking them off. And what we do for this one is we use, roughly speaking, about an ounce of garlic spread and we put that on one side. Quite tricky to do using the label, but we want to get the right amount. So then what we will do is just use a spoon and spread it across one side. All the way across. Don't worry too much about being careful and whether it's messy or not, really does not matter. And then we take a roughly the same amount of pizza sauce and run that all along the other side. Now what we're putting in is this marvellous blend, and I'm not sure if you can see that from the camera, but this marvellous blend, the Mediterranean blend. In here is mozzarella, fresh basil, red onion, and then there's diced tomato in there, and there's also chopped olives. Now you can choose whether or not the kids are up to uh, wanting chopped olives. It's up to you whether you put that in or not. Now there's roughly about an ounce to two ounces of the mix inside. It needs nothing more now than a little sprinkle of pizza seasoning, which actually, if you wanted to do, you could put it straight into your mix and that would save you another part of the process. And preferable or not, the preference is yours and your students, a little shake of crushed chilies. And there are two vegetarian products. Again, stack them up in your BS tins, very, very simple, and get them all into the oven. Uh, these will hold for a good half an hour in the hot cupboard as well, so that there's a great opportunity to get ahead uh, ready for the rush at break time. Yet again, half an ounce of sauce on one side. Similar with the garlic spread. Like so. Ounce of mozzarella cheese, spread it round. Now, I did say at the beginning, there was two ways of adding the meat to this. Very, very popular choice, pepperoni. On a very, very busy morning for break time, the kids can see the pepperoni and you can put it basically just on the top as so. I hope you saw that. Just overlapping, fits four easily. You might want just a, ta a slight sprinkle of cheese just over the top of that when you do that. Another way of doing it is to get a great big bowl, get your mozzarella cheese in that you know you're going to be using for how many portions you're doing. Get uh, a number of, uh, depending on how much you're doing, slices of pepperoni, cut them into quarters, mix them into the cheese and then just put all the cheese in into the calzone as I was. Um, 
We're just going to put that one on here separately there, and then we're going to cook these. So as I said, in here for four minutes. If you're using a pizza oven, which is unusual in a school, well then please make sure it's preheated and it's preheated to 320 degrees centigrade. If you want the soft, moist look, um, it's a little bit more difficult in the pizza oven. You're going for the more crispier edge. Still a nice handheld food to go product. But what you'll do is bang the BS tins into your preheated fan assisted oven, 180 degrees, and it will take you no longer than about 10 minutes to get that nice golden brown top and the soft moist sides. Okay, right, so four minutes later and hey, presto. So can you hear them sizzling? First of all, I'm gonna take the margarita one and I'm just, now what you would do is put them in some sort of handheld receptacle uh, as you're giving them to the kids straight from the BS tin. In this instance, I'm just gonna show you a little bit more about it. And I said I would do that. So, let's cut that one into three. Please be careful with these trays if you ever do it this way. Extremely hot. Cut this Mediterranean into three. And then finally, we'll take the pepperoni. So, very important you don't grab hold of some sort of perforated tray or anything like that because look at the mess that would end up in your oven. That's come from the garlic spread. So from using that on the one side, if you remember, from the Mediterranean pizza. But you'll be in the BS tins for school break time. And so there's no problem with that whatsoever. And so finally then, the pepperoni, which also does tend to contain a little bit of fat. So there you can see a nice little crispy edge. As I said, you would keep it as one. You would keep it as one for the kids at break time, um, just to food on the move, which is what it's all about. Uh, certainly at break time, easy to serve, easy to walk away with, easy to eat, no mess. Um, what I do want to mention is, before we close on this one, is just a little tip. Please don't use tomato puree out of your stores or what you've got open in the fridge for these. It tends to be very harsh tasting. The kids will pick up on the sauce flavour first. It needs to be mellow and very tomatoful. Um, and our Pizza Plus food service uh, branded pizza sauce, which I happen to have behind me here, is a marvellous product for doing just exactly what it should do uh, for pizza and really will change the flavour profile of your pizza whether you're making it from a white flour pizza base or from a calzone or from any type of pizza. Um, it comes, as you can see, in this aseptic pack, which can easily stay in your stores for up to 18 months. Once opened, you're looking at three to four days in the fridge in a sealed container. I hope you found this very informative. And um, there we are, the first in a series of short films showing the seven inch Pizza Plus food service, Calzone, wonderful handheld food to go product. Thank you very much indeed.